Hi friends. The reason I'm so out of breath when I do these videos is because I take my thumbnail, like I just sit here like this, and then I take a screenshot, and for some reason when I take pictures I hold my breath. I have no idea why. Don't know. But hi guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to this weird corner of my bedroom because nowhere else in my house is ready to film. The office is coming along though, which is eventually where I want to film everything just because that's gonna be my office. Oh my, you guys, <laughs> my hair's driving me nuts. Something about first trimester, like my hair was not growing and I had just gotten a haircut and it was a little bit too short and so I was like really eager for it to grow out and it was not growing and I honestly think it was because I was so sick in the first trimester that my hair didn't leave a bun like I just left it in a bun for like a week straight I would only wash my hair once a week and I'd have to like spend 20 minutes getting the rat's nest out I was unwell in pregnancy but so I think that it didn't grow because of that second trimester I did like wash and do my hair more often um but something about the third trimester it just like really really grew and now it's so long and my hair Hair lady can't take me until November 12th which is <laughs> over a month away so I don't know I'm gonna need to learn some like Rapunzel braids to get it out of my way but it is very long but I do know that postpartum hair loss is supposed to start around three months if it's gonna start so we'll see I could definitely afford to lose a little bit of it but I don't think it, it I think it comes from like here and you get bald spots which I don't want but well you know whatever anyway we're jumping all over the place we're back in this odd corner of my bedroom the office is coming along um I just got this really cool shelf like I wanted like a those shelves that are like ladders kind of that just like tear up and they get longer as they go out if that makes sense got a great one off of amazon for more storage and i just need one last little piece in there to get everything organized we want to do a little bit more painting and it's gonna be ready soon i did film my lush halloween haul in there um but it is coming together but for now i appreciate you just i tried with this little weird corner <laughs> but you still see the snoo which my son sleeps in you can still see this light switch so but i appreciate you sticking with me until we get something prettier we would just film right on the bed because i like the twinkle lights but i don't have a bedspread <laughs> my whole life is a mess but it's okay it's a happy mess but hello my friends today's video is going to be my september favorites happy october i am so excited it's October you guys know I love October my birthday is soon I'm excited to experience my first Halloween in this house we have so much more room to decorate and I'm mostly excited to pass out candy I think we live in a pretty bitch in neighborhood as far as kids I have no idea um, but I'm really excited to pass out candy on Halloween. I really hope that that works out for me excited to watch all my favorite movies show them to my son for the first time even though he's not old enough to know what's going on but I don't care Hey guys, editing Amy here with very crazy hair. We're just gonna look past that. I cannot believe I forgot to mention my movie list. So if you remember last year, I launched my website, used it for a couple of months and I got pregnant and totally abandoned it. But the Halloween, Amy's 31 Nights of Halloween is what, are, what we're calling it. My hair, you guys. I have updated a bit. I've updated where you can stream all the movies. So all you, you just click the post, tells you where you, you can watch them or you can purchase them if they're not available for streaming. Um, but I did update it for this year. So my website is linked down below. It's just amylynnbutchin.com. But I can't remember, I can't believe I forgot to mention it in this video. So just wanted to pop in. I'm gonna pop back. Don't look at how messy the office is. It's a work in progress. I'm just excited. I'm also gonna be an ant literally any day now. So I'm just in a great mood lately. But you guys know that if you've been watching my videos, I did just do a August favorites, which to be fair, I filmed on the first day of September, but then like it took me forever to edit and upload it. And this could no, it won't be the same because this is a sponsored video. So I have to get my shiz together and edit it and send it to the sponsor. <laughs> but I, I didn't want to skip this month and I didn't want to not put that up because it was like mid, like literally end of the month. But I still have favorites to share. I don't have like a lot of favorites to share, but I still, I still have things I wanted to talk about. So I just kind of wanted to do like a catch up favorites, which is what today is. It's kind of all over the place as they usually are. Yeah, so I'll shut up and let's get into it. As I just mentioned, this video is sponsored kindly by one of my favorite sponsors, Ana Luisa. You guys know I'm an Ana Luisa ambassador and I absolutely love their jewelry. I am wearing some of their pieces in my ears today. I also have this ring on. I've actually been getting tons of messages on Instagram asking, can we see your new ring? Can we see your new ring? This is the Paisley ring from Ana Luisa. I um, ordered this in a size up because I want to 
to wear it on my middle finger, which it does fit now. I ordered this during pregnancy, um, but my fingers are still a little swollen from pregnancy. I was dealing, I don't know what it's called, but towards the end of pregnancy, I had the thing where um, I couldn't feel my hands or my fingertips, mostly my fingertips, but I would wake up and my whole hands would be numb. It's happening to my sister-in-law too, who is pregnant, but mine just took longer to go away. I think the numbness, now that I'm thinking about it, it's been a week or so since I've woken up with just like completely numb hands. Um, and it is like so much better than it was, but my rings, I don't know, my, my finger looks pretty skinny today. Maybe they'll fit. I don't know. But in place of my engagement ring and my wedding ring since I got too swollen during pregnancy, I have been wearing this, which again, I said I got in a size up because I want to wear it on my middle finger. But this is the Paisley ring. Did I say that from Ana Luisa? I love it. I think I am going to have to stop wearing it though because I don't want it to fly off. But I totally love it. It is so beautiful. I have in my new favorite pair of earrings from them right now. I've been obsessed with this combo. I won't lie to you. For the longest time, I thought these huggy earrings, I didn't think they were like, like, ugly because they're they've, they're obviously cute I just like I didn't feel old enough for them like I don't know they were just something I never wore even though all of my friends have always worn them everybody I watch on YouTube has worn them and with Ana Luisa I started to get into them a little bit I tried one pair um, the one with the pearls I think those are called the Ashley and I'm just really into them I think they're really cute these have a little bit of a dangly situation which I think is super cute so these ones I'll give you a closer look of course but these are the M E M M E mini champagne earrings so they have like there's this little dangly situation um and they have them in all different colors which i'll be getting all of the colors now because i love them um and i just have my of course my mini organic pearl in the back ear or hole <laughs> those are my absolute favorite from ana luisa i wear them in some fashion pretty much every single day i love them ana luisa is just really nice quality, affordable, dainty jewelry that I've really been enjoying for making different like ear combos. That's been my favorite thing lately is when I get dressed um, because I have a newborn. So a lot of days I'm not doing the whole hair and makeup situation. I am showering, throwing on, it's been warm. So a dress, which makes me feel put together and just slapping in some earrings makes me feel put together and makes all the difference. Um, so if I put in some earrings and a hair clip, like I feel like I spent hours getting ready. And so it's been fun for me to like pair different earrings together. And I'll put in some close-ups of my favorite combos of late. But you guys know I absolutely love Ana Luisa. They do great things for like the environment. They're the first jewelry company to be carbon neutral, which is so cool. They use recycled gold. They use really noble, good quality metals. There's no like middleman. You're buying directly from them. So they're not super upcharging. All the jewelry starts base price at like 39 and even like my favorite mini organic pearls, which are actual pearls, they're only $75, which for pearls are not bad at all. And it's just like really good quality. I've been wearing their jewelry for, I wanna say like almost two years, maybe a year and a half. I have never had a piece break, never had a piece tarnish, nothing ever irritates my ears, which that used to be a problem for me. They're just a great company. Every interaction I've had with them, every exchange, they are the best. I love what they do for the environment and I love their pieces. Like I was even thinking like yesterday, I kind of, they make me wanna get another piercing because I'm enjoying like designing my ear stack every day. You get it, they're a great sustainable jewelry company that just make great quality and very very cute pieces that I wear every single day. And if you would also like to check them out, I'll have some of my favorite ones linked down below, but they have tons of stuff. Like I said, I don't wear bracelets or necklaces, but they have tons of those dainty, beautiful pieces if you want to look at those as well. I have a 10% off code for you. It's amylynn10. I will have the link down below. You can click and just shop if you'd like. Thanks again, Ana Luisa. Love you. And since we're talking about accessories, we're going to do things out of order today, just because like today's video is kind of a random array of things anyway. But let's continue with the accessories and like clothing train. I wasn't gonna talk about any clothes in this video, but then I remembered this dress and was like, I have to. So this is again from that Knox Rose brand, which is a very affordable, great clothing brand. They sell at Target. I haven't tried any shirts or anything and just always buy their dresses, but I have literally like eight at this point. I love them. And so I actually walked by there the other day. I saw this and I normally don't like go for maxi dresses just because I'm like short and I just have always felt like maxi dresses look weird on me but this one is kind of like a midi maxi dress. I love it. First of all I love the color. Purple is my favorite. I love the sleeves. It has this beautiful like puffy sleeve and then it's kind of just like a tiered dress. It has the ruffles in between. If I can find it on the website, hopefully I can so I can link it, but I'll put the model right here wearing it so you can like see. I always find it so weird to talk about clothes because I can't like fit the whole thing but it's kind of a heavier, very soft, 
almost like sweater material that I just was like, I am going to live in this in the fall. Like I am just going, I pictured myself like out in the garden, picking the potatoes I haven't even planted yet because I need to get my shiz together and plant the fall garden. I told Bradley, I was like, you're not gonna garden in that dress. And I was like, okay, fine. I'm gonna harvest in that dress. I just picture myself just like, I don't know. I, do, I kind of feel like Wendy from Peter Pan when I'm wearing it which makes it sound like a nightgown, but it's just because of the frills and the sleeves. I don't know. I just, I love it. I feel great in it. I wore it yesterday and I just absolutely love it. It's really, really soft. And honestly, if they have another color, when I look at it online, I'm gonna order it because I'm obsessed with it. So I wanted to talk about that. <laughs> this video is literally so random. But oh well. So moving along with the accessories theme, this is also moving us into our Alice in Wonderland section of the video, which that sounds weird, but I do have several Alice in Wonderland themed things to share with you. <laughs> so many of you messaged me, which I really appreciate, about the 70th anniversary Alice in Wonderland collection designed by Mary Blair, or they're designed based off of Mary Blair's kind of concept art of Alice in Wonderland. For some reason you don't know, the Disney version of Alice in Wonderland is like my very favorite thing in the world. I just it's always been my favorite. I, it calms me down in a way nothing else can and I just I love it That is my absolute favorite Disney movie if you didn't know so the fact literally and growing up because it's always been my favorite I <laughs> one of my husband's favorite stories one of my that sounded like I had multiple husbands one of my husband's favorite stories I don't know literally in the third grade he used to tell everybody that I was the voice of Alice in Wonderland and they'd ask me to prove it and I would do my impression and they'd be like, yep, that's it. Even though the movie's literally from 1951. They believe me. So it's just, it's always been my favorite movie. And I, I will also say Nightmare Before Christmas was also like from day one, it was my favorite. I loved it. I have pictures of me at the pumpkin patch as a kid in my Jack and Sally shirt and everybody thought I was weird and now all of a sudden it's the most popular thing, which probably gets, I'm on my high horse about it. <laughs> but it's true. Something about when I was 15, the world shifted and understood what genius that movie is. And I'm like, I liked it first, but I'm, I'm trying not to be that kind of bitch, but I am, you know? But the point is, if you told eight-year-old Amy that someday she would have endless Nightmare Before Christmas, like, clothing and merch and decorations and now all this Alice in Wonderland stuff she would have died because you just couldn't find it like nobody cared back then now everybody cares but anyway <laughs> let's get off my high horse now the point is they came out with this whole 70th anniversary collection with the concept art by Mary Blair and it's beautiful and I picked up some pieces I mentioned them on Instagram um, but I don't think I've mentioned them in a video so the thing I wanted most was the set of headbands which they came in this beautiful box which I think I'm gonna keep them in but it just has the concept art here at the bottom but of course my favorite being the kind of just golden afternoon when it has a bunch of the flowers on it it has Alice herself on it and it's just kind of like this really cute raised blue. Like how cute is that? This tag, all three of them have this ginormous CVS receipt tag. And I'm like, what? Why? What are you supposed to do with that? Obviously I'll cut it off. But that one was my favorite. My second favorite, again, like I always, this is what really gets me. If you told Amy at eight that she would have a headband with bread butterflies all over it, she would have just died. So this is, you have to see the movie, but there's bread butterflies. Get it? Bread and butter. Flies. But I love this pink color and then the bread butterflies are just these kind of gold things on it. I love it. And then in true Alice fashion, you have a black bow one. And so I just, I loved all three of those. And so I, I, this was my most wanted item from the collection. I honestly want everything. I'm trying to be better about not buying things just to hoard them and try to just buy the things that I would use. I did go to Disneyland the other day, which we have been, we have some vlog clips from it. It'll be in my next vlog or it's up. We'll see <laughs> because I'm talking so much. I was going to try to fit in two videos by the time I need to be done filming. I mean, I had like two and a half hours by the, like when I was sitting down and Bradley was like, can you not film two videos in that time? I'm like, no, I talk too much and I take too long to do everything, <laughs> but whatever. I forgot I was saying, oh, we went to Disneyland. I have some clips. I'll insert those were not, no, I'm not going to insert them. <laughs> I need to, I need to take a breath, reel it in. Took too much time off. We went to Disneyland. I have some vlog clips that will be in a vlog. Either that's up or it's not. I don't know. But I went into Elias & Co. in California Adventure and they had a whole wall of everything from the collection. I hadn't seen it in person because it was just on Shop Disney. And now there's some more stuff that I think I have to have. But at first, I only bought these headbands and then the next thing I'm gonna show you, which they're all still in stock on Shop Disney, I believe. So I will link them down below. And they always have like free shipping coupons. So look out for that. So this is kind of more of a home decor favorite. But this was the other thing I wanted from the Mary Blair collection. 
I died when I saw this. You'll see it in a close-up, but it's just the golden afternoon flowers in a candle. And the candle smells really, really good. It's a gardenia candle, which I love gardenia. But this beautiful candle was only $19.90 something. Like a very, I, f I feel like an affordable price because that's what you pay for candles at like anthropology. But also obviously when I'm done with this candle, I'm gonna gut the wax and use this as a vase for the rest of my life because it's just so beautiful. It has the head rose. Uh, it's just, it's so good. I love the like dark blue purple color of the background. It's gorgeous. So yeah. If you're into Alice Wonderland, you love Disney and Alice like I do, definitely. This is, I think, the best thing you can purchase from it just because the price point is right. You'll get a beautiful candle, but then you can repurpose the jar. Okay, and then so a few favorites videos back, I think it was my June favorites, which was the last one I did before I gave birth. I mentioned, I talked about the, um, all of a sudden, there, you guys know I also love Kate Spade. <laughs> there was a Kate Spade and Alice collection designed just for the parks and for the most part, just for Disney World. I still have not seen any of it here in California. Some of it was online on Shop Disney, but way after the fact, and some of the stuff sold out right away that I couldn't get. Um, but I was able to snag the wallet, which I can insert a clip of right now. It's the Cheshire Cat wallet. I am obsessed. And I had a friend go to Disney World and she knows I love it. She's like, is there anything you want? And I was like, actually, if you find yourself at Downtown Disney, Please check the Kate Spade store for this makeup pouch, which she ended up getting for me and I love it so much. And I joked when I was talking about that, I was like, these are totally all gonna end up in the Kate Spade outlets, which I love going to Kate Spade outlets. If you go to Citadel, there's a great Kate Spade outlet there if you live in Southern California. But I joked about that, but in reality, there is a whole separate collection, it seems, that they made to sell at outlet stores slash on the sale section of their website. And so, um, I kind of sent the, I sent it to my sister because I was very pregnant when it was coming out and there was just no way I would have survived a Citadel day. Um, so I sent it to her. I'm like, you're going to have to go. As a joke, the damn bitch, my sweet sister, bought me this as a push present, which isn't the, isn't that the sweetest thing you've ever heard? I love Kate Spade uh, makeup bags. They're just structured so well. Um, she kind of just has like three-ish, maybe four different like sizes and designs. And I have a few of these and I love them. So it's just this navy polka dot, which is so cute. You have Alice right there falling. You have teacups and teapots everywhere. And it's just so beautiful. I haven't actually used it yet because I haven't traveled at all. But I just, I love this. And I love that it's like on sale and affordable. So it's, I checked before I mentioned it right now. It's on Kate Spade's website. I will link it down below. I like how I said this is gonna be a quick video and it, I'm nowhere near done and we are already 30 minutes into filming. I've been loving my Alice Wonderland Kate Spade stuff, so I did want to mention that, especially because it's more affordable than I would have thought, and so cute, and there's so much, so many different things. There's purses, obviously, earrings, a bunch of stuff. I kind of feel like I should look at it one more time and see if I need anything else, but this was the main thing I wanted, and my sweet sister got it for me. Thanks, Katie. Okay, I have one more really random favorite, and then I have more, like, traditional Amy favorites. Okay. So this is very random for me to be sharing, but it has helped me so much. I looked for something like this for the longest time and I don't know if I wasn't looking hard enough, but anyway. So I have been looking for a way to organize mostly my mini ears. You guys know this video is making me sound like the biggest Disney fan, which I am. I have all these mini ears and I had them in a drawer earlier in life, but I was like, that's not, I don't know. I just wanted a way to organize them. I had my eye on this thing that you hang on the wall from Etsy, but it was literally $90. And I would, I just, I, I had accepted I was eventually gonna have to buy it because I couldn't find anything else. But I just, I was keep, I kept putting it off. But then my friend shared her organizing her ears and she got this on Amazon. So it's a headband organizer and I love them. You can get a two pack, I think for $35, which is still not super inexpensive, but for how much it's going to help me, it was so totally worth it. I ordered four of them because I love them for my mini ears so much that I have all these other headbands and it's just the best way to organize them, have them all laid out on here. So in the picture on Amazon, they have them kind of just like all around. But if you just take it and fold it over the shape, it doesn't stretch it out too much and then you can have them all in a row so you can just kind of see them. It's amazing. It was really easy to put together. Did it in like five minutes. I just wanted to mention it just because I have been looking for something like this for so long, but every time I look up like headband organizer, it's just stuff for like little girl headbands. I'm like, no, like I, headbands are all the rage right now. I love them. I'm wearing them a ton. I have a ton of them. They're just kind of dispersed all over this messy room. You guys, I think Bradley's going to divorce me 
or murder me because I <laughs> have not put away laundry since I gave birth. I just keep washing clothes, putting them in a pile in the room, in the corner of the room and picking from that. But I think today is the day I'm gonna put away my laundry and try to stay on top of it. I'm really good at folding Milo's laundry and putting that away right away. But for some reason, I just throw my stuff in the corner and he's going to, like I said, divorce me or murder me, so. Anyway, but yeah, I'm excited to actually, I just got these last night and put them together. I'm excited to organize all my headbands on them. And yeah, so I just wanted to mention that. I'll have a link down below. All right, now more into the beauty favorites. I have a nail polish and it's not OPI or SE. It's Orly, which I've never tried. Hopefully I'm saying that right, O-R-L-Y. Never tried a polish from them. They did a collaboration with Lisa Frank and there's a glitter top coat and it's like neon glitter and it is the rainbow unicorn dreams of my dreams. <laughs> it's a gorgeous polish is what I'm trying to say. So I actually lucked out and I went to my local Ulta and there were two left and I bought one for me and my best friend Chassie because she's on the same rainbow wave that I am. I used it the other day. I had my vampire is buff on my nails which is just kind of like a creamy beige color and then when that was like that manicure was starting to go south I did a little touch up and then I put this on top. I have it on right now. Absolutely loving it and I am gonna ch I'm way too lazy to pick that up. I'm gonna actually look at more glitter colors from Orly because applying them was so, so easy. The one downside I would say, there are little like yellow stars as part of, part of the glitter. And if you didn't really seal those very well with the top coat, they did kind of stick up and snag on things. But that only happened on a couple of them and what I just did was filed them down and then put some more um, top coat on them and they haven't bothered me since. So it's a downside, but just something to be aware of as you're applying it. It was just so easy to kind of, if you've ever done like a chunky glitter top coat, sometimes they can be hard to like manipulate where you want certain glitters. But this, it was almost like I could pick where I wanted certain things and it was just really easy to apply. So I wanna see, I really want for Christmas, like a red glitter and a green glitter and I will check Orly to see if they have that. But I am so loving this polish. When last time I checked, it was sold out on Ulta, but I was able to find find it on Orly's site, but wherever I can find it, I will link it down below if I can. But if not, check your local Ulta because mine did have a few. And there's other stuff in the collection. There's um, like nail stickers, there's a silver top coat, fun stuff. So check that out. I don't have any makeup just cause again, I have a newborn. When I do get to do my makeup, it's kind of the same thing every day, which I am planning on filming a morning routine here coming up. Um, and I will show you what my like mom makeup has been, even though I don't want to call it mom makeup because I only put it on if like A, I'm in the mood, B, we're having company, or C, we're going somewhere. Most days I don't put on shit. But I think I did have a couple makeup favorites in the last favorites video I did, so check that out if you're curious. But I do have two skincare favorites, and I meant to mention this in my last favorites video, but I totally forgot about it. But this is the Young Living New Charcoal Mask. Now, I do want to say people get really offended and angry at me for talking about Young Living just because people look at it as a pyramid scheme. I have been buying products from them for a very long time um, and it is in no way shape or form a pyramid scheme. I just buy products. Yes, people can build their businesses, but that's not what I'm doing. I don't, I'm not like recruiting people to sell under me at all. Mostly it's just an affiliate link. It just like all the other links you click from me and I don't, I just, I don't want to offend anybody by I'm not trying to push any Young Living products on you to make more money. I've debated just stop talking about them in general because some people get so upset, but I genuinely use them. I genuinely love their oils. I love the Thieves Cleaner. I love some of their skincare products and I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if I eventually stop talking about them because people get so upset, but for now, I don't really wanna hide a part of my life, if that makes sense. <laughs> I'm not here to recruit you to sell Young Living. I am very open and honest about the Young Living stuff. If there's a product I don't like, I will tell you because I don't care. Yes, I make money if you buy something through my link, but that happens with all of my links. Anyway, that's just my little disclaimer because I got a nasty comment the other day about, um, uh, about Young Living. I think the people that have negative experiences sign up expecting to make a bunch of money, but unless you're buying tons and tons of product each month, there's not really a way to lose money. So I don't know. For me, it's buying products and I get them in the mail and I use them. I'm not paying money any other sort, if that makes sense. It is not a pyramid scheme. That's my little Young Living rant. <laughs> All to say, they came out with some new stuff. I think this was uh, the spring? No, convention? I don't know. It was a new product at some point. This is a charcoal mask. I was so excited because I don't have any face masks that I 
remember. And L'Oreal discontinued my favorite, I don't know if it was a charcoal mask, I think it was, but it was that, it's the, you know, charcoal dark gray mask that dries and then you can literally see your oil from your pores come to the surface. This, just as good as the L'Oreal one, obviously more expensive, that mask was only $10. This is, I think, around 30, but it's completely non-toxic, great ingredients, and so that is worth it to me. But mainly, I just need that kind of mask that pulls the stuff out of my skin, because it's just so satisfying, and this smells in Incredible. It smells like peppermint and it just feels good and as you're washing it off it feels good. I am a huge fan of this mask. Highly recommend it. I've also been so out of the Young Living loop. They changed the website and they changed things. I think that now you can just like shop. You don't have to create an account. I could be totally wrong but they like majorly change things to where you don't even have to get a starter kit anymore. You can kind of create your own bundle to get the wholesale discount. Like there's all these different changes which I don't know the changes, so I don't know why I'm bringing it up, but I will, I think I can just directly link this. I don't think you have to make an account, but even if you do have to make an account, it doesn't mean anything. You just make an email and a password, but I think things are different now and I can, and I can link you directly to this mask. So we'll try that down below. So postpartum, a little bit before I had the baby and then like f a month, five weeks after, my skin was literally perfect. Like I had no texture, it looked incredible, great. I think I used a makeup product that I didn't, it didn't agree with me and I got literally like almost a rash, a dry skin rash all over my face and nothing was helping until I remembered that I had this. This is the Josie Marin Whipped Argan Face Butter. You guys know I've been a fan of the body butter. I was using it as my body or my belly butter. Didn't do anything. I still have so many stretch marks. <laughs> but again, I think there's only so much you can do to prevent that. If it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. And I had a massive baby, so I had a big belly. But they sent me a PR package right before birth and they, this was in there and I didn't even know this existed. So it's just basically their face version of their whipped argan oil butter. It is incredible. So I was using this exclusively, nothing else, just until my rash situation went away and it totally did and it has not come back and now I'm using this every other night. Like I like to use like face creams with a dash, a dash, a drop of frankincense oil in it. And it just feels so good. And it's unscented and it's fabulous. And I just wanted to mention it. It is obviously on the thicker side cause it's like a butter if that makes sense. My skin loves argan oil in oil form or whipped butter form, so I've been loving this. And then <laughs> this is a very random favorite, but this is the Method Men Shower Gel Body Wash in Bergamot and Lime. So me and Bradley were in TJ Maxx one day, as you do, and he saw this, and this is a scent that I've like never seen in Target or anything. He loves these, so I was like, if you like that scent, you should get it, because it's, you know, a few dollars off, because it's a TJ Maxx. It smells so good. Bergamot and Lime, like that's two of my very favorite things. And not, there's nothing like manly about it. Isn't like gender norms so weird? Like we've assigned colors and scents to men and women. Isn't that odd? But he got out of the shower one night and he smelled so good. And I was like, my gosh. And then I went to shower and I was like, mm, I'm gonna use it. So I've been using it. I use it in my evening showers just cause it's a little bit more of like a relaxing grounding scent. And I use that other, I talked about a shower gel that I'm loving right now in my last favorites video. It's like a passion fruit one. I do take two showers a day. I know I'm insane if, unless I take a bath in the evening, but I do just take two quick showers a day. Maybe it's the OCD in me. I don't know, but that's what I do. But I like to use this at night. It's really, really just nice and relaxing and it just smells so good. It's relaxing even though it's like citrusy. I don't know. It just smells great. I've never seen this at Target, but I will try to find it down below. Maybe it's like a discontinued scent and jokes on me and then I'll be devastated when I can't find it anymore. But I love it and I wanted to share. <laughs> okay guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I talked about anything and everything you could possibly think of. <laughs> so yeah, that pumpkin's also probably a favorite. We didn't get into that today, but check out my Halloween decor haul. That's either already up or coming soon. But yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will shut up now and get out of your hair. I hope you have a great day and I will see you back here soon with some more spooky, Halloween fun, but also some other just regular normal videos. Okay. Love you guys. Bye.